Hey everybody, welcome back. Tom here from Whistle Thicket. Um, I haven't really made a video in uh, close to two years. Um, I haven't stopped beekeeping. I just kind of took a break from YouTube, but I am back. I'm still beekeeping. Um, love it. Um, last season I made eh, about 3,000 um, bucks. That was out of nine hives. And it's early March right now. Um, six of my nine hives have made it. Three did not make it, and that's okay. Um, about 66% uh, success, I guess. Um, I'm going to show you my hives, my setups, and talk about uh, why I think these three hives didn't make it. Squeegee. Squeegee, this is a bee yard. No turkeys allowed in the bee yard, squeegee, okay? Here's our smoker, getting our smoker ready. I'm gonna open up some hives. I haven't really opened up my hives officially since um, November. And when I say I haven't opened up my hives, what I mean is I haven't separated the uh, bottom two boxes so i typically run a deep and a medium for the winter typically um and then i put a quilt box on top of that to kind of wick away moisture from the winter um but i don't really open my hives from about thanksgiving until now because there's not really reason to the the only thing i do is i'll lift up my uh quilt box and i have it um on the bottom as window screen kind of loose and I can put supplemental uh, sugar cakes there. The only thing I'm doing is I'm checking to see if my bees are alive or not. Um, where I live in Western North Carolina, it can get kind of cold, maybe down into the teens, maybe lower sometimes, but teens is pretty cold around here. But then it can also get into the 50s and 60s in the middle of the winter time. Um, so sometimes my bees might be out, um, in December and January and then they'll be back in their hives for a week it all just depends if it's a warm day in the winter and my bees are flying out then I will check on them make sure they're doing okay and if I notice that a hive has little to no activity then I definitely check that one and that's usually the hive that has not made it um, so again I got three hives this year that did not make it um, one was kind of early November, one was around Christmas time, and one I just lost uh, maybe a week and a half ago uh, or two weeks ago. So I'm going to talk about those three hives here and what I think happened. Now the hives that have made it are buzzing, buzzing. This is one of my big mama hives, I think. I'll probably split that one. Got activity one, two, three. Those four hives made it. And uh, there's two here that did not. Squeegee. Squeegee, come on. This is Squeegee the turkey. She likes to be petted. Squeegee. Tully dog. Hey, Tully. Tully is our long-haired uh, Boston Terrier. Girl, I got to shut this gate. Come on. It's uh, turkey mating season. And uh, we got a male turkey as well. Uh, Rambo. But uh, we keep them separate. And... Uh, Squeegee kind of uh, does her own thing on the farm, but she's extra calm because uh, it's mating season and uh, yeah, she wants to lay some eggs here and uh, raise some babies again, which she's done that a couple times. Squeegee, I gotta move you, girl. I got some beekeeping to do, okay? Okay, I'm moving you. Squeegee. I think a lot of uh, people like to use the word abscond, which means that your bees have flown away left a hive um that does hop uh, that does happen bees do abscond which is different from swarming 
Swarming is when your bees have reached uh, top carrying capacity for that hive. And the old queen typically will leave with half the queens or half the queens, half the bees to make a new swarm or a, a new hive. Um, absconding is when the entire hive leaves because for whatever reason, the hive is not where they want to live. Um, but honestly, most of the time when people think their hives have absconded, what I think happens is that your bees have just died and uh, you don't want to admit that uh, you failed, okay? Beekeeping, unfortunately, is, um, is a lot of success, but there's also a lot of failures out there. Um, I got 66% um, of my hive survived, and that's after nine years of beekeeping. Um, I have had 100% a couple years. Uh, I've been down to 40% uh, has been my lowest. Um, so, I mean, you know, I've had 75%. You know, six out of nine is okay. I'll take it. Um, seven out of nine would have been better, but uh, six out of nine is uh, where I'm at. So this first hive here, this is the hive that did not make it, okay? Um, this here is my quilt box. Um, this here was actually a, uh, it's a honeycomb contraption I bought off of Man Lake maybe. And it worked, but it was a lot of pieces and I kind of abandoned that for making cut comb. But this hive did not make it. Um, let me pop it up for you. So the whole point of this quilt box is to wick moisture. Um, what's going to happen, hot, um, bees in the wintertime, they make their own weather system, basically. They're able to generate heat to stay warm. Um, but what they do, they're drawing in cold air. Um, they're breathing. Uh, they're giving off water. And what happens is that, that that water turns into water vapor. It rises up to the top of the hive and then it condensates and it drips down on the bees. Being cold is one thing, but being cold and wet is a totally different ball game, okay? If you've ever been cold and wet, you know that is not fun. Um, the quilt box helps minimize that because it'll absorb moisture. It won't drop down on the bees as much. But um, I did lose um, three hives this year and I did have quilt boxes on them. So that was just, you know, one of the strategy, uh, strategies I use. So if we look here, um, this is the supplemental feed. They had um, sugar cake right here. This hive was actually alive a couple of weeks ago because I gave them some early pollen patties and... Um, this was a small hive, it did not make it. Um, what I think happened with this hive is that I think maybe their queen either died in the winter time or the hive was just too small to uh, make it through the winter. This hive almost made it. This hive was alive in February and it just uh, did not make it. I mean, as you can tell, we had bees here just a few weeks ago in this hive. And I think when they clustered, we did get some cold weather. Um, this hive did not starve. They had plenty of uh, supplemental feed. They actually had a decent amount of honey. Um, I do not over harvest. Um, the honey cakes and pollen patty, that is just supplemental. I leave them in an entire medium and then um, also a deep of honey. I guess minus what um,
is left for the queen to lay. So they definitely had honey here. Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough for um, this hive to survive. I think this hive probably was just too small towards the end of winter. Um, they even had a little bit of larva, so I guess the queen at some point was starting to lay. Um, but this hive, I think, it almost made it, so it made it through mites, because typically I feel um, if a hive can make it to about Christmas, um, at, at least where I am, then it's probably not gonna die from mites because our queens are not laying as much and mites prefer and they're able to increase their population by laying in brood. Um, and around December, we don't really have any brood. Around Thanksgiving, we don't have brood. So if a hive can make it to Christmas where I'm at, they've escaped the uh, mite problem, okay? I do treat my hives. I feel like if you're not treating, then um, you're just breeding mites. So if you're not gonna treat, you're basically a mite breeder and um, you're gonna spread those mites to um, other beekeepers, to native bees possibly. Um, so I treat all of my hives. I treated this hive at least once. I treated some of them twice. I'd have to look at my records to see if this hive got um, treated twice or not. Uh, but I think this hive was just too small and we had a cold snap and unfortunately uh, it didn't make it. I'm trying to show people the reality of beekeeping. Again, I got six hives doing great. Three did not make it. Um, there's a lot of dead bees here, people. Now you may see that and think it's pretty bad, uh, but the bees in the winter time, lit, so in the spring and summer, um, your um, uh, um, honeybees can live six to eight weeks, but they kind of work themselves to death foraging. In the winter time, when there's not pollen available, bees start to build fat deposits and they're also not out foraging and they can live four to five months. But what happens is that typically dead bees, dead bees, but that's not a bad thing. It just, it's, it's just bee life. Okay. Um, what happens in the winter time, the bees are not out foraging. Most bees that die, um, die out foraging of old age and they don't come back to the hive. They die. Uh, but in the winter time, the bees are still dying um of natural causes aging out and what happens if it's too cold the bees do not let them uh or clean out the hive until the springtime and this hive actually had built a whole bunch of of propolis check out this propolis they did This is all propolized, okay? So, they kind of sealed themselves in as much as they could, but then they couldn't get rid of these dead bees either. So again, another thing with winter beekeeping, uh, the hardest part of beekeeping is having your bees survive the winter. And again, I'm showing you this, it's messy, but, um, we're gonna build back up. I'm gonna split some hives. I'm ordering a queen and a package. Um, probably in a couple of weeks, I'll have probably nine or 10 hives again, I hope. Okay, I'm gonna open up this hive. I know maybe not too exciting just seeing dead bees, but this here was my probably second biggest hive going into um, the season. Um, around November and this hive died early December uh, so let's check it out um, since I've been showing you you know 
a little doom and gloom about the hides that did not make it. I want to go ahead and do a quick inspection and show you a success, hopefully. I have not opened these hives like a real inspection since November because there's not really much of a reason to. If you're queenless, there's not much you can do. Um, you could combine hives, but sometimes I feel like, well, if this hive is weak, it's weak for a reason, and I don't want to transfer that to my other hive. Maybe it's a lot of mites. Maybe there's some sort of viral thing going on. Um, maybe there's just not a good queen. So I don't normally combine hives. I do it every now and then, but not normally. Um, but again, in the spring, it's the spring almost, um, I should be up to probably nine or 10 hives again. I'll split probably two hives. At, woo, I'll split at least two hives. Um, I'm also buying a package. I normally get one package to kind of uh, stabilize my colonies a little bit, kind of as a uh, insurance. Um, I'm a small, small beekeeper. I only got, uh, you know, at most maybe 12 hives, sometimes only eight. So um, I'm just a hobbyist. I do it for fun. I make a little bit of money and uh, I enjoy sharing what I learn with people. So let's open up this one hive and hopefully we'll see some brood Maybe we'll see the queen. Um, I don't think we're gonna get too deep into it because I know my uh, wife and daughter gotta leave in about 20 minutes here. I'm going to show you a bee emerging. Hopefully the light is good enough. If you look kind of in the center of the uh, shot, you can see a, a um, an adult female worker bee, and she's um, chewing through her cap cell. She's not hatching. She already hatched as an egg uh, about 21 days ago. She's emerging from the cell, and um, her first duty is going to be to clean that cell up and then her next job is going to be as a nurse bee, and she's going to be um, feeding her sisters mainly. Um, it's kind of cool when they do emerge. I don't know if we'll see her emerge during this video. Hopefully we can see her. It's kind of hard for me to tell right now. But there she is. I'm kind of pointing to her with my thumb if you haven't seen her. So she will be a, a um, nurse bee for the larva. She'll be feeding them royal jelly. Well, I don't see any drone cells yet. So, um, I, so I know this is worker home because it kind of looks like corn pops. And I can tell that the bottom of the hive is um, full of bees. This hive has about 20 frames of bees. Pretty good for March. Um, I'm not going to look for the queen today just because it's after work and it's already 6.30. And uh, my wife just said we needed gas for uh, the gator, so I need to go do that. Um, but again, I found what I needed. I found what I needed. And this weekend, I'm going to be doing some splits. I will probably split this hive. And splitting a hive can help with the prevention of swarming. I haven't had a lot of swarms in the last couple years because I try to split as much as I can. Now I only have um, equipment for maybe 13 hives. Um, so really past that, if I have more than 13 hives, sometimes I sell a nuke or something like that. Um, it just all depends. 